can I make a retro style FPS in Roblox with only one hour of time? Well, probably, but the first thing that I'm going to need is an idea. And what I was thinking of doing in this short time frame is pretty straightforward. You, the player, have weapons, and you're constantly being overrun by enemies trying to attack the objective. So your goal is to defend it for the given time. Simple, right? But let's see if I can actually make it. The first thing I need to do is make the weapons. This was pretty simple, actually. I found a nice pistol and shotgun sprite thanks to this guy, so I'm just going to take it. Then I binded the weapons to the 1 and 2 keys to equip them, then stored the sprites in the table so I can loop through it. And this is what it looks like holding the weapon, but as you can tell it doesn't shoot yet so we have to add that. Then I find this sprite that I'm going to use as the monster. I made him chase the player and then added some damage effects to him. Now obviously we're going to need a map, but since we don't have a lot of time I had to make it simple. I just added the base plate and then found a PS1 style grass texture to add onto it. Next I'm making the monster spawn, which is pretty easy. I just take whenever there's no monsters in the game, they spawn a random amount in the given range. As you can tell though, you can't really run from them because they catch up to you easily, so we have to add sprinting. Next, I need to make invisible barriers, which is just four invisible walls, obviously. I usually retro saw games, there's a texture showing the barriers, so I added that. I realized the map was way too small, so I had to scale it up a little bit. Next, we need to make a menu screen. And I don't want to go too over the top because I'm not that good, but I just did what I could. I wanted to make like a glitch effect for the FPS text. I just used three different colors and overlapped them and then edit the transparency. As you can see, you click play, and it spawns the monsters and spawns you in. Next, I need to make the death screen, which restarts the game and the health of the objective. Then, I realized they weren't spawning on the spawn, so I had to rig them properly. Now I'm going to make the objective text with the objective underneath it. And I wasn't sure what to make the objective and we didn't have a lot of time so I just made it like a crate. But this is the final product. It's pretty bland since so I only had an hour of time, but if you want to make more videos like this and maybe adding more time or multiple developers, like and subscribe. And the game link uncopy locked will be in the description below.